if I listen to Swan Lake and hear the music that's my entrance music, even if I'm just sitting listening to the record, I get all, I just feel that, that I, yeah, it's just the reaction. That, so I, I don't listen to that kind of music at home. You said something I didn't say. Oh, renovation party. Yeah. Yeah. They always do that. They always say things that you don't say. Put them in quotation marks. You have a lot to think about when you're on stage in terms of every, every part of you, don't you? Mm -hmm. How everything looks. Yeah, it's a, it's, you're playing with a, with a total thing. I often, um, I used to concentrate too much on legs and feet, and now I try and always think of, of the dance as a whole, you know, from top to bottom, and also what each thing is saying, not just the steps. Do you put those all together in pairs? Mm -hmm. Is there much jealousy in the company? Are there people waiting to take your job? Uh, no. No, I, I, I think that we're all friends. Um, I have a lot of friends in the company, and that's one of the great things that, that I find dancing with the National is I feel that my friends are on stage with me, and they're rooting for me, and they want me to do well. Whereas when I go to dance with other companies, I feel this sort of well, who's she and why's she been invited here and let's see what she can do. And you feel this, you know, this awful pressure from, from the people on stage with you. And I don't like that. It's, it's hard to take. Many people have called you the best ballet dancer in the world. You, you've no, achieved that status or that's among untrue. the best. That's untrue. That's totally untrue. <laughs> why do you say that? Well, because I've seen enough of the other ballerinas around. Who's better? Know. Um, I could name three in New York who are much better than I am. And I know it. I mean, I'm very happy that certain critics think that, but I know it's not true. <laughs> Why do you do it? Because basically I really love to dance. That's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's as simple as that, really. What happens when you can't dance anymore? Do you ever think about that? I try not to. I really do. Um, I suppose it's something you have to face. Maybe I'll get married and raise a family or something like that, but I want to keep dancing as long as I can. And if I take care of myself, hopefully that'll be quite a while. How long do you think? How long could, could a person dance if you don't get hurt, nothing interferes? That's, a, that's the problem. It depends on the individual physique, I think. You know, everybody's different. I guess it depends on how long I can go without getting a, a very serious injury that would stop me. Or, or maybe it would be just that I lose the joy of dancing and then I would stop. Because why bother if you don't enjoy it?